G'day guys, Mad Matt here. See, normally Mrs. Mad Matt lets me sleep in my swag in the bedroom, but last night I was a bit of a naughty boy and I got sent out to the lounge room, so here I am. G'day, buddy. So, we're going to be doing a review today on the Darshi Ridgestone Swag. This is a freestanding style of swag and there's a whole bunch of really cool features about it and some things that are not so good about it, but I'm going to go through all of that with you in this video. Here at Mad Matt 4 Drive, we are passionate about educating, guiding, and building community so that you can go bush with your family, wheel well, and have a fantastic outdoor experience. So let's get into the review. Now, so you know, straight up front, Darshi has paid to produce this video, but the opinions and what I say is my own and they have not dictated that. So when Darshi are looking at developing their solutions, they actually look at a complete solution and that's what we're going to be looking at here today. So you, it's not just a swag. They actually look at what else is required for an outdoor sleeping solution. So it starts by, they start with a stretcher. They say, well, you, you know, really you should have a stretcher and I like that idea and there's a number of reasons why. When you have a stretcher like the what we're set up on here, actually let me lift the, I'll pull my shorts down, you don't have to see too much leg. Okay, so that's the, the stretcher there. The beauty of that stretcher is that it means I can set up bed in rocks, in mud, on dirt, in grass, and I know that I'm going to get the same night's sleep every night. And that, for me, is a big advantage over just having the swag down on the ground. Because then you've always got to find some flat ground that's clean enough or whatever. You can put a ground sheet down for sure, but if there's a rock in the middle of your back, you're going to wish you had a stretcher. So I like that type of idea. I like being able to have a stretcher. The other reason is exactly this. You can get out of bed, put your feet down, put your, um, your slippers or shoes on. I often have a little tarp here on the ground so that I can have all of that ready. And you can go and have your midnight piddle if you're a bit, getting a bit older, you need to do that. That's certainly me. And it makes it easier to get back in because you're not crawling around on the ground. So I really do like the idea of having a stretcher under my swag for those reasons. Now the next element that they add to the swag solution is a sleeping bag. Now they've got these sleeping bags here. It's a cold mountain sl sleeping bag. And now it's got a number of good features on it. Firstly, it's got a canvas outer material. So that gives it a really rugged finish. It's gonna cope with being, you know, on the ground in an outdoors environment. It's rugged, it's harsh. It's not gonna get ripped or torn really easily. So that is a superb thing. But one of the things, the way it fits into the solution this sleeping bag is actually designed to fit into the swag. So it's on the bottom, it's got a nice square foot. So it's really like climbing into like your bed at home. It's like having flannelette sheets on it because this lining inside is a cotton flannelette material that's just, it's nice, okay? It is really nice. I've actually camped in minus five degrees, which this bag is rated for. Now the night I did that, it was cold, minus five, it was windy, and it was, um, like I climbed into bed and it was just toast. It was really nice. But about two o'clock in the morning, the wind came up a bit higher, and the wind going underneath the, the stretcher meant that I did start to get a little bit of, bit cooler than I liked. I often have in those cold environments a little blanket in, in there as well. So I pulled that over the top of me and I was toasty again. Now there are some factors that can affect how well we sleep in those really cold environments. And it's not all about having a super, super warm sleeping bag. If you go to bed hungry, you'll actually be colder at night. So make sure you go to bed with a bit of a, bit of a you know, having had a good dinner because that will help keep you uh, warmer at night. The other thing is don't go to bed in the clothes that you've been working in during the day because the sweat on your body that, and the salts in those clothes will mean that you'll be colder as well. So oftentimes I go to bed at night when I'm camping in a night shirt and you know, a pair of boxes and a pair of socks and that's all I have and I'm usually pretty toasty. So I found that this, this sleeping bag worked a treat. Now, it's got some other great features in the actual sleeping bag, which I've, there it is, look at this. It's actually got a pocket in here. 
So you can throw a torch or a, a, your mobile phone down in there and you know where you, it's going to be. It's also got this drawstring here, which draws the sleeping bag tight in around your chest so it keeps you the warm air inside the sleeping bag. And we've also got the same up here on the actual hood of the sleeping bag. So it's gonna wrap in around your head and keep you nice and warm there as well. It's got these Velcro tabs that come down and close up on the zip ends. It's also got a zip basically the whole way around it so you can zip it into another sleeping bag and make a massive big two person sleeping bag. You can make it into a doona. You can open up the bottom end of the sleeping bag and get some ventilation down there if the night's a bit warmer. So there's lots and lots of options. It comes in a great little carry bag that rolls up in. It's got these belts that are part of it so it zips up nice and tight and compact. So it really is a very clever uh, sleeping bag solution. And I've used that a number of times, like I say, in really cold weather and it was an absolute treasure. I haven't used it in summer yet. I'm interested to see if it's too hot, but I'm going to give it a go. So then we get down into the swag itself. Now, the, this is actually made with a, a nice uh, canvas. I'm just going to read my notes here. It comes with a number of things, i.e. it's got a unique serial number so that they know exactly this swag when it was made so they can completely track it if you've got a, any a issues with warranty. It comes with a lifetime warranty. So that with that serial number means you're never going to have any issues with this swag. It's got a Max Trim ripstop canvas. So it's a nice heavy canvas. It's a proper canvas. And that, that give, that's why they're giving it that lifetime warranty. Now, there are a couple of things and I sort of go, why? For example, I love having a pocket inside the swag because I can put my, my ear plugs in there because oftentimes I'm camping and there's other noisy campers and I like to go to sleep. Ear plugs, my phone, uh, my glasses can all go into that internal pocket. There is no internal pocket. So I thought that's a bit of a question mark as to why would you do that. Um, the arm, so that's an interesting thing, but it's also got a lot of ventilation. I love it when you're out camping and you can open up and have a little bit of fresh air flow through the swag. So we've got a number of ways we can do that. We've got the side windows down the back here. At the end here, you've got this weather flap that comes out and you can open up the fly screen underneath that. So you can get that, that airflow coming in through there. You've obviously got this big wide opening here the same on the other side and it's also got at this end you zip this down and it's got a weather flap here but then you can do this oh go down down so you can get in from this end of the swag as well so it's actually got three openings into it which is really really cool and then at the end here you've got this flap that comes and covers that zip area. So you can open it up, get plenty of airflow through, and yet, you know, with this fly screen they've got, which is really, really fine fly screen, um, you're not going to get midges or anything like that coming through the mesh, but you're going to get that airflow. So I really do, really do quite like that. Now, um, some of the other things they do provide with it, I've got it up here, I've put it here in this, you get a whole bunch of pegs, and they are actually real pegs, not pretend ones. And they've got this little black sleeve, which if one of the poles were to break, say here, which can happen at sometimes, you know, something falls against it or whatever, that's a repair sleeve, and it's gonna get you home so, until you can get a new pole. So that's a really nice little idea they've included into that. They don't include a carry bag in the actual purchase of this swag. And for me, having a carry bag is almost an essential to a swag because it means I can put it up on the roof rack of my four-wheel drive and I'm not going to get dust in there. It's going to stay dry when, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, if I go through rain or whatever. If you roll this up straight as it is, the chances of my, my sleeping bag getting wet if it was raining or dusty is quite high. Having it in a bag is going to solve all of those problems. So I think that that's something that I would like to see is that you buy this swag, which is a top end swag, and you get a bag included. The thing is, you can buy the bags from, from Dashi as a separate item. So they do have the solution, it's just not included in it. And I, I would like to see it. So if I was buying one of these, I would absolutely have a bag as well. And now, um, 
when you're setting it up, these three poles are slightly different lengths. So this end of the swag is going to have the longest pole, the middle length pole, and then the shortest one down here. And then you have this big long centre pole here, which has a simple over centre catch on it, and it comes in through the middle here, this section here, so to each end, and that single pole is what's holding the top of the swag out and gives it its shape. So there's just the four poles, they go onto these little plastic clips, onto the stainless steel D-rings down the bottom here, and swag set up. So it really is quite good quality stuff. Um, I, I have no issues with the way that sets up. And you know, with all of these flaps that are coming over the zips and that, if it's raining, the water's just simply not coming inside the swag. You're going to be dry inside there. Now talking about water, when you get this swag, you do need to proof it. So what that means is you put it out on the grass, on the lawn, you get your hose and just wet, very gently wet the swag completely everywhere. And what that's going to do is all of the little stitching where the needle's gone through the canvas and stitched it is going to allow the canvas and stitching to swell and seal any places where moisture might come through. You only need to do it the once, let it dry in the sun, and once it's completely dry, pack it up and go camping and you'll never have any more issues with it again. So just remember to do that proofing pro pro process when you buy it. Okay, now a couple other things I do like, I like the fact you can sit up inside here because what I do, I, I sit down here, I take my shoes off, socks off and all that, I climb inside and then I get undressed in there. Oftentimes I'll put my clothes for the next day down at the feet there and I can actually get dressed quite easily and comfortably in here before I have to get up in the morning. Now I'm not, I'm not worried about getting up and getting changed out in the public but everybody else wants to run away when they see it so that's why I have to do it in here, I know it's kind of a bit weird. Anyway, I hope that's been helpful information to you. Make sure you check them out at darshi.com.au. They do make a pretty darn good product. I do rate this as a, as a swag. I, I reckon, you know, if you were to spend the money on this and this suits your requirements, I honestly don't think you're going to be disappointed. But just consider those question, uh, comments I made around um, the, 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 the bag for it and having the no internal pocket and you decide whether they're issues that you really care about. Look, at the end of the day, they're pretty easy to solve. I'm Mad Matt, stay safe on the trails.